Hello, long time, no chat. It's been quite a minute since I've vlogged. And you know, I was just kind of feeling it in the mood today. I literally just got home from work and I'm pretty hungry. So I need to make some lunch. But I don't know what to make yet because I'm feeling lazy. So I think I'm just gonna make some like eggs or something like that. Anyways. I never feel like filling that up all the way just because it's like a hassle almost. I am thinking I'm gonna make some eggs, but I don't really have any bread. Michael and I need to go to the store like desperately. So I'm like thinking that maybe, I do have waffles. Frozen waffles? So I can't believe we went through so many eggs so quickly. Oh my gosh. We really need to go to the store. We'll probably have to go and do that later tonight or something. We have chicken, but that's gonna take forever to make and I don't wanna make that. Um, I have some rice and I can make some tuna, but I had that the other day and I'm just not feeling it. So I guess it's gonna be eggs and waffles. That's what it's gonna be. The other day was my birthday. So after I make this food, I'm gonna show you some of the stuff I got because I made a TikTok about it and you can go watch that TikTok. I'll make sure there's a link to some of the stuff I got for my birthday. Um, but I went out and bought some stuff yesterday, you know, just for myself because I didn't really get to get anything for myself. Two eggs and waffles but we're also gonna make like a little blueberry jam uh cream cheese spread if y'all know what that is i'm gonna make it so it doesn't even matter <laughs> two of these in the toaster i also got a new pan i'm very ex okay hang on let me put you over right here i also got a new pan very excited about it um michael made eggs in it this morning so I'm just gonna use it cause it's here. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what type of angles I need or anything I'm doing. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to see what I'm doing. These blueberries are like, they're a little old and a little shrivelly, So I'm just gonna use them up. So I'm just gonna make some jam really quickly. Like it's not gonna be like a full on actual jam. And I'm gonna show you how I do that real quick. So. I'm basically, I'm just gonna use the rest of these blueberries because they're all like shrivelly and stuff. And I'm gonna use the blueberries. I put them in a container like this, one that's microwave safe or whatever, you know. I don't know how to actually make jam, but this is basically what it is. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus Christ, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with me. Anyways, I'm gonna put this in the microwave for probably about 30 seconds. Just at first. I'm gonna wash me a spoon because everything is dirty in my apartment right now. And all my dishes in my apartment are dirty right now, so I had to wash a spoon. This out real quick. Crack my eggs. Scramble them up real quick. All right, what I'm gonna do now for this, mix them up just a little bit. So that the little like juice or whatever kind of gets mixed up and then I'm gonna put them back in the microwave because they need to, you know, be a little bit more. <sighs> but yeah, fun times over here. I haven't vlogged in like so long because um, I, I can't believe I'm talking with the microwave on. But anyway, who cares? Uh, I haven't vlogged in so long. I just like have been like in this like weird rut like creatively and I just like, haven't felt any inspiration to make content or anything like that. Even like when it comes to like TikTok and stuff, like when I'm like trying to grow and stuff like that, I think it's just like a lot mentally, you know? So it just kind of sucks. So now it's steaming. Can you see that? S steaming. Um, I'm kind of just mashing the blueberries just so that they're like a little bit more like more of like a jelly form. It's gonna be more of like a jam-ish form when it kind of hardens and you put it back in the fridge for like using it another time. Just so you know, like it's not gonna like look like this all the time. My waffles. Now I'm gonna put the cream cheese on the waffles. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can either add cream cheese into this mix so it's always like a blueberry cream cheese or you can just top what you're using here on top of it, which is what I'm gonna do because I don't feel like putting like that much cream cheese in here. I'm gonna rinse this first so that I don't get cream blue layers. All of my cream cheese. As if you guys care or not, if I get that in there. Yeah, so I'm gonna just scoop it out. Honestly, I would use a knife, but I don't really care that much to clean one. So we are using a spoon. 
Uh, and that was a pretty thick coated cream cheese, honestly. Honestly, this is so much easier to spread with a spoon. I don't know why I've never thought of this before. I remember I used to see kids in like middle school spreading it with a spoon. And I was like, what the heck? And I obviously couldn't eat it because you know, gluten. So I was like, okay, I never tried it. But here we are, cream cheese. I'm only gonna do it on one of them just because I don't want it on both of them because the other one I'm gonna put my eggs on. And I'm just topping it. The bloobs are on top. I'm also gonna drizzle some honey on there. Perf. This is like a nice sweet and savory type of snack. Breakfast, lunch, you know, if you're like feeling both of them but you don't really know what you want, this is perfect for that. You know, you get best of both worlds. So basically that's how I do that. And my eggs should be done now. Okay, bringing the eggs all the way over here. And I'm gonna salt them, get some salt out of here, and that'll be it. That is it for this, I guess, lunch or snack. I don't really know. I'm just kind of lazy at this point. I've been very lazy when it comes to food recently, and honestly, I don't like it. I'm also like really wanting to like bake and stuff, like do all that cute girl shit, but I'm just like not motivated to do it. That's my lunch, snack, breakfast, whatever you want to call it. So, but real quick before I eat that, I'm gonna show you some of the things I got. I went to H&M yesterday. I only got like two things, so I just wanted to show you real quick because they were really cute actually. So I got this shirt on sale. Um, I'm gonna wear it as a pump cover, like super cute. This is an extra small, so I'm surprised it's so big, but it's meant to be oversized, you know? And then I got this smocked tube top. They like make it a comeback. So I was like, you know what? Give it a shot, make it plain black so that it goes with everything and like see how it goes. And then I got two little clips that I've been obsessed with. And yeah, I just got two clips because they're really, really cute and they love the colors. I am gonna eat my food. Um, I have a decent amount of work to do, like I said. So, oh my God, please ignore the mess of my house. I'm embarrassed. Um, we're gonna pretend it's not there. Gonna eat my eat my food and oh, go to work. So I just wanted to pop in here and film this segment because a few days ago I received a package that I'm very excited to share with everyone. So Seller Activewear did send me these items to tell you about here on my channel. So I'm very, very excited to see them. I did open it up just to see like what was in there because I did kind of give them a few options of what I liked and then I would see what they would have sent me. So they did only send me two things. They sent me two pairs of shorts, which I am actually very excited about because I have just been really wanting new shorts. So I don't know if you've ever heard of this company, but it says make sustainable the standard. So these are on Amazon. They are very cute and they are pretty affordable. Um, activewear that is on Amazon. The first pair of shorts are these like army green ones. Super cute. They're actually like super, super soft and they do have a little bit of a booty scrunch. That's super cute. Really nice stretchy waistband. So on their tag it says made using a minimum of 50% recycled plastic. That's very cool. I actually really, really enjoy that. Tag, great quality. I got a size small in both of these, but these look really, really cute and I cannot wait to try them on. So cute. And then the second pair of shorts that they sent me were actually the same set of shorts, but in like hot pink. <gasps> look how cute. And they also have the same booty scrunch. They're the same exact pair of shorts, just a different color. The waistband is super, super nice. It is kind of very, if you can kind of see that, it is like three different. So the waistband is structured with the compression to be like three different sets of compression. And then they also have a nice little contouring down the side of the short, which is really, really nice. I don't know if you can see that. Nice little 
detailing down the side of the short. Otherwise, they're really, really soft, super cute. They look super, super comfy. Okay, so I first tried on the hot pink ones and these are super, super cute. They're super comfy. The only thing I do have to say about them is that they are very, very thin. Um, so this is what they look like on from the back. Very cute, a really flattering cut. It's just, they're like a really, really thin material. So I always wear underwear when I'm working out and in the gym, just because like, uh, that's how I'm most comfortable. So you can definitely see underwear lines and stuff like that. Um, but overall, really cute, super cute color too. Like really just like out there. This is not a color I would normally wear or pick, but I was like, you know what? Let me like go a little bit outside my comfort zone and pick something a little bit different. Okay, so here are the green ones. These are definitely way more my style, my fit, my color. These ones also, for some reason, don't feel like they're gonna like rip up my butt as easily. It could be just like the way that it was stitched or like the way that the color is on. I know certain colors like feel tighter and more denser than other ones, but the material still feels pretty thin, like the pink one. So it could just be the way that that one was stitched. So, but as you can see, like it has the still look, the booty scrunch in the back, which basically you just have to like do the butts, the butt cinch, make your butt look really, really good in these. These are super cute though. Like this color, I love this color. I feel like with my skin tone too, it looks really, really nice. But these shorts are actually like a really, really nice look-alike for the Alpha Lee Amplify shorts or the Amplified leggings, whichever ones like you prefer. They have like the same nice little butt scrunch and I think they do like the tiers as well as the Amplify shorts do. Now I don't have a pair of those, but these I think are a nice lookalike for a better price. If you can, you guys should snatch up some of these shorts. I will link these shorts down below. I'll link both of the colors and another color that I really, really like that I haven't gotten. Yeah, that is it for these shorts. <laughs> Hello everyone. Good morning. It is um, a different day now, obviously. I just got to work. Um, I have a client this morning and then I'm going to go home. Uh, but I stopped because we have no coffee at home. Uh, hold on. Sorry. I've had no coffee yet today um, and the sun is really bright. But anyways, like I said, I had never been to Port City Java before. Went for the first time this morning, uh, literally like two minutes ago. The closest thing next to me is um, a Starbucks and their line was so long, so I couldn't go there. Honestly, the coffee is not bad though. Never had it before, so interesting. I meant to like start vlogging earlier, but I forgot. Um, but I brought my camera with me so that I could. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go in, join my client, and then I'll see you in a little bit. I just got back from training my client and going to the grocery store. I went to Trader Joe's and Food Line because they're both on my way home. And originally I wasn't gonna go to Trader Joe's, but then I remembered it was on my way home. I was like, oh, let me go to Trader Joe's. So I will show you what I got because we were just out of things and we just needed a whole bunch. Not a whole bunch, but we just needed things, you know? So basically out of eggs, we only had like four left. So bought me some eggs, which I'm actually gonna use for the breakfast this morning. Got me some more bananas, avocados, cause I was out. Um, I got some coffee just because we were completely out and we usually get ours at Walmart. And we just haven't gone to Walmart yet and we desperately need some. And egg whites. So that's what I got from Food Lion. And from Trader Joe's, I got some spinach. I got me some gluten-free pancake mix because I was like, oh, maybe I'm feeling pancakes this morning, but now I don't know, honestly. Um, red, bagels, blueberries, and then I also got um, some chicken sausage that I was like, oh, maybe I'll throw it up in my breakfast this morning. 
And then also brought some maple syrup because we've been out completely. So that's everything I got from the store. Before I put away all my groceries, I kind of wanted to do a like TikTok. So you're getting a little behind the scenes TikTok of me making my thing. But I, the only thing is, is that like I can't see anything. <laughs> so maybe I should flip it around, but the camera's so much better on the back. Now I gotta watch it, see if it was any good. Cause if it wasn't, then I have to redo the whole thing over again, film that. But that's a little bit behind the scenes of sometimes how I film my TikToks. Um, sometimes I film them on the app. A lot of the time I end up filming them like on my phone and the camera and then like putting them together. But uh, it's sometimes just easier to do it on the TikTok app. So after this, I'm probably gonna make some breakfast because I'm hungry, um, very. And then I'm gonna get ready for the gym because I'm gonna go to the gym earlier today. Hopefully I will have the time considering, not that I'm cutting it close, but like I have a client again at 12 and it's already 10 o'clock. So I want to give myself enough time at the gym. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna have to get ready for the gym and go work out and then, yeah. Oh my God, that bite I just took, very hot. <laughs> very good though. I used um, in everything, bagel. Egg whites, two eggs, and then spinach and avocado. Vegan, classic breakfast. I wanted to put in the chicken sausage, but I literally couldn't open the package. So I was like, all right, guess I'm not doing that. So I'm gonna finish eating this, and then we're gonna get ready for the gym. Mm. Girlie is ready for the gym. We got the Captain America pump cover on. We are wearing a Fabletic sports bra and then just plain black shorts. They're from, I think 90 degree. I got them like a few years ago. Held up very nicely and stuff like that. So we're wearing those. We are doing a bit of a back day. Um, I don't remember what my program says, but I'm doing some type of back day, I know. But it's gotta be a quick lift because I do have a client very soon. Probably won't film though, just so you know, because it's a new gym, so. Probably won't be filming, but it's okay, it's okay. Uh, hello. Um, I always say hello when I start a clip, but I know that I've already been vlogging, so it's kind of weird. But either way, um, hi, <laughs> again. I kind of just got home, I got home maybe like 10 minutes ago, and I made myself some coffee because I am so tired. Like I needed a nap, but I didn't want to take a nap, to be quite honest, so. Yeah, yeah. like I said, I just got home. I kind of need to make some lunch, but I'm really not hungry. Like it might've been, like I'm still like basically full for my breakfast, but like I gotta eat because I worked out already. But I did want to chat just like for a hot sec. I, like I said, I had been like kinda, I haven't been feeling vlogging recently. And like, I've just been like a little depressed and I don't know. Um, part of that definitely was because I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't like working out. I wasn't going to the gym. I didn't even have a gym. Now I have a gym. I have a new gym membership, which is nice. It's only me though. Like Michael doesn't have a gym membership. He just doesn't have the time to go because of work. So he hasn't gotten one yet, but I have one now, which is nice and exciting. But also like I can't film at that gym yet because I'm not comfortable yet. I also don't know where everything is. So I'm kind of like, eh. I also don't see people filming ever um and at the old gym that i worked at i would always see people well not always i would film and i at the point didn't care because i had been there for so long and i worked there you know so yeah but i've also recently i think partially because i've been going back to the gym i've been having a lot of body image issues i think it it's genuinely because i'm going back to the gym and like seeing myself in a way that's like i don't look as good as I would like to and like seeing other girls in the gym wearing the same exact outfits as me like or not the same exact but you know what I mean like similar outfits to me looking very good and like very fit and stuff like that and that makes me like very self-conscious and very sad almost because I'm like oh like they look really good and I don't and it just like it, I don't know it makes me a little sad so I'm um, having a little bit of body issues um but you know 
that's normal. I think I just need to go to therapy, honestly. <laughs> but I don't have money for therapy. I also don't know if my insurance would cover therapy. So I don't know. But either way, you know, I've been just stuck in this rut. I also like, I'm in this apartment and I, and the apartment's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but it's, I just like, I can't stand it almost. I'm almost like, oh, it's so small. There's like nowhere for me to like, have a designated area for me to work and like school's coming back up soon. So I think I'm like stressed a little bit about that and I haven't done anything for school yet. Like I haven't started studying. I haven't gone to buy notebooks or anything. And I think that's like partially of what's like stressing me out a little bit, but not so much because it's not something that's been like at the top of my head. I think it's mostly the other stuff where it's like feeling self-conscious being here in like in this space of like not being in a house because Michael and I really want to be in a house and like we want to buy one by the beginning of the year or start a process of buying one and stuff like that. So I don't know. There's just a lot of things, <laughs> a lot of moving factors that I want to just briefly mention there. I have some coffee, waking up a little bit, which is nice because I was so tired. I was literally training my client and he works for a construction. Well, he doesn't, he owns the construction company. And he was like, he tells me how like he will wake up early and he'll just go fishing and then he'll go to work. And I'm like, sir, how are you not exhausted at this time? Cause I literally didn't even wake up early or even as early as he would. I'm exhausted. Like I woke up at like 6.30, 6.45, not even. I think even later than that. <laughs> and I'm like exhausted. So I don't know how he does it. I don't know. Other plans for today's agenda since I'm sitting here. I'm gonna go to the pool, but I have to do some work. My, I'm gonna wait for Michael to come home to go to the pool so we can go together, so we can kind of just sit down there and relax. We haven't gone to the pool in a while because here it's been, the weather has been atrocious. Just, you know, on and off rain and like storms and stuff like that. So there are days we haven't been able to go either like to the beach or to the pool. So today we're gonna go to the pool after he gets home from work. And yeah, so I gotta do some work and I gotta make lunch, but I'm not hungry. But either way, I still have to make lunch. I still gotta eat, so I'll eat. <laughs>